Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit GTS 2E and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing you need to do is to turn on the watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the side button. Once you see the Amazfit logo on the screen you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch turns on you should see the list of languages on the screen you can sw scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now, find the language you want to use on your watch and tap on it to select it. And once you select the language, you will see the QR code on the screen. It means we need to download and install the Zep application on the iPhone. So, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your iPhone. Once you do, open the App Store. <laughs> okay. In the App Store, tap on the search icon right here, then tap on search bar and type in ZEP. Then tap on search. Scroll down through the list of applications and find the ZEP application. Tap on it, then tap on the get button to download and install the application. <laughs> After the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. As you can see, we have a couple pop-ups about the permissions. Here's the permission for the location. You can allow it or deny it. I'm just gonna allow it. Next, we have the Bluetooth permission. This one is required, so allow it. And here you can allow to uh, track the activity across other companies if you want to. I'm gonna tap ask app not to track, but if you want to, you can allow it. Okay, now let's tap right here and log in. If you don't have an account, you can tap on sign up button or use the third party application or other third party account, my bad. I'm just gonna log in into mine account because I already have one. So. Enter the password. Then tap on sign in to log in. Oh, I must have entered the password wrong, so give me a couple of seconds. Okay, after you will log in, you will have a couple more pop ups about the permissions. Here we have the fitness uh, or other health access you can tap on ok and then you can tap on allow or don't allow this is about the notifications basically if you want to receive the notifications from your iphone on your watch you need to allow this permission if you don't care you can deny it and next we have the again apple health thing right here at the bottom you can tap on ok it will redirect you to health access and here you can enable or disable the uh, or allow or deny the permission to write or read data from different features like heart rate, energy, active energy and stuff like that. And you can allow or deny them according to your preferences. I'm just going to tap on turn on all and then tap on allow. You can also tap on don't allow on the left side that if you want to deny them. But I recommend to allow them for all of the features of the application to work. OK, and once you're done with the permissions, you should see the home page of the application. Now tap on the profile icon, tap on add device, select watch category, tap on agree, tap on OK. It will open the camera app. You need to pick up your iPhone and point it on the uh, QR code on your watch. So basically you need to scan the QR code with your phone's camera like this. Confirm the pairing by tapping on check mark on your watch. Tap on pair. Here you can restore the <coughs> settings if you want to. But as you can see, we have another pop up about the notifications. You can allow it or deny it. And now we can uh, restore or don't restore the uh, settings. I'm just going to tap on Don't Restore, but if you want to, you can restore them. And then tap on Done. And here you have tutorial how to use the watch. I'm just going to tap on Done button to skip it. 
And once you're done, you should see the device page for your MSFET GTS 2E. Wait until the uh, AGPS is done updating. <laughs> and once it's done, you will see your watch right here, the battery level. And also you should be able to use your watch at this point. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.